I was blown away. There's no other word, I was just blown away. I felt like um, Livingstone or some 19th century explorer that was discovering something completely unexpected. When I encountered these animals, the very existence of this deep sea fauna um, that was in Monterey, in California um, in 2001, my life completely turned around and that was very unexpected. So it was a bit of a tidal movement in my life. Radiolarians are a good example of um, how difficult it can be to collect some animals. They're extremely small animals that look like soap bubbles. They're actually unicellular primitive animals and have a colony of animals which are these uh, white dots on them. The red paper lantern medusa was found off the coast of the United States. The jelly is red, beautiful, and it's extremely specific because it can fold as an accordion in both ways, vertically and horizontally, and it creates these angles, which gelatinous animals are not supposed to do. Bioluminescence is a really rare phenomenon on land. Uh, it's only restricted to a few animals or a few organisms like fungus or centipedes. Uh, but in the ocean, it's definitely the most um, um, widespread form of communication. The emotion was just too strong, it was overwhelming. I couldn't keep it to myself. I just had to go out and tell the world what I had discovered. <laughs>